Good morning, afternoon, evening, Aquarius, wherever you are at in the world. I hope you are all having the most wonderful day so far. This is your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and their true intentions for you. I'm going to start your reading off by looking at the situation between the two of you through the love oracle messages. Then I'm going to jump into the tarot section of your reading and look this person's true intentions for you. And I will be closing out your reading with the hidden truth oracle deck by pulling some messages from this person. Now this is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present or coming up in your future. With that being being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me the situation between Aquarius and the person on their mind. toxic relationship, relationship and divine timing and reverse comes out. So let's take a look at this. I am really seeing now some of you are feeling intuitively that this person is dealing with somebody else. The intuition card is at the bottom of the deck right here which says gut feeling psychic premonition sixth sense. Pay attention to your spidey senses, right? So toxic relationship, fighting, codependent, misunderstanding, trigger, relationship, commitment, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, okay? And we have divine timing, a wrong timing, stalemate, perfect timing, waiting. It's in reverse. So the timing is off and it's not about the timing. It's more that this is just a relationship not working. Some of you are getting this indication that they could be dealing with somebody else. Why is this so toxic between the two of us but there's also the fact that someone keeps bringing up an ex you remind me of the ex you treat me just like they treated me you this 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 and that is really that divine timing in reverse is telling me like this is a whole karmic situation going back and forth here between the two of you so let's go ahead and look at their true intentions for you i do see you know fighting you know and wanting fighting to want to stay together even though it's not good for the both of you i feel like you have tried to leave you've tried to stay you've tried to make it work you've tried to go you know you've tried to give them space and every time that you two try to find some middle ground it's back to this relationship is just too toxic to repair um makes sense let's go ahead and look at this person's true intentions for aquarius Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Three of Wands, and the Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck right here. You know, they want a relationship. They feel like you are their true happiness, um, but then they're wanting to walk away and wait, and maybe I want to stay, maybe I want to go. I also get that you are this person's true happiness, but it requires them to walk away from something, another relationship that they're not really happy in. So they're waiting and waiting. And that's where it's making it very difficult between the two of you to have anything um, concrete because there is somebody else. And if you're the other party waiting for them to leave, whoever they're telling you, I'm just not happy with them. See, I knew that, that there was another relationship coming up where somebody keeps talking about the ex. Um, the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck is telling me that you've either called this person out, like I'm not putting up with this BS anymore. I'm tired of waiting on you. I'm tired of waiting for you to make a decision and either you're gonna stay or you're gonna go, which is it? Um, I get it for both situations. 
you being in a relationship and building a life with this person. And that's their intention is to build a beautiful life with you. But then that's not enough and they're unhappy and they want to walk away, but yet they're waiting because they're waiting for something else to happen. And then there's this lack of communication other than whenever words are sharp. And you calling them out on that makes them feel like, I'm just going to go. I'm going to leave this situation. I'm not, I'm going to turn my back because they turn their back on the situation. Now they are in a relationship with somebody else and it requires them to leave, to be with you waiting to do so. And you've called them out on that. Like it's never going to happen is how you feel. And understandably so, um, especially if they're unhappy, why aren't they leaving? Maybe they have children with this person, um, and wanting to be with you, but they really need to be out of a relationship before they start seeing somebody else. Cause here's the thing, Aquarius, if you are the other party, all that's going to happen from this is it's they jump from one relationship to the next, which is you. And are you going to believe that they're not going to cheat on you? Truthfully. Oh, well, they love me. They love me. Okay. That's great. Fine. Whatever. Um, but when this person starts changing their demeanor or they just don't spend enough time with you, are you going to assume that they must be seeing somebody else? Because, hey, they were they were with you when they were with somebody else in another relationship. Do you get what I'm saying? So you can't create a, a loving relationship out of something that feels like there's a lot of baggage tied to it. It just really does make it unhealthy. Um, so that's why I'm saying. If you told this person, I'm taking a step back and I'm going to do me. And when you're done with this relationship, you can come talk to me, but I am not going to play this third party situation. Then see what happens, you know, because your time is valuable. So let's go ahead and clarify this 10 of cups. All right. We have the ace of wands as well as the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck right here. <clears throat> so they manifest <coughs> excuse me <coughs> sorry about that they are very drawn to a relationship with you wanting to stay with you and wanting to build something beautiful with you i feel like those of you that are in a relationship their intention is to to be with only you happy with you very attracted to you but it is in the form of toxic because of the fact that it's unhealthy the way that they um, are so codependent on you and the seven of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck right here so um things aren't entirely working out to that ten of cups or they did at one point but then something has changed and they're feeling like well this is what i wanted but now i don't know if that's everything i wanted um and if you're the other person, they are associating the physical, passionate desire for you as true love. There's more to it than that, right? So, and they're like, well, and they want to keep it. That's the other thing, Aquarius. If you're their everything and you're giving in to them intimately, then they're waiting and waiting and waiting. I'm just going to keep waiting to leave this other relationship. It's going to happen. And then you give into the physical aspects of it. And then they feel like they got you and this. And it causes some confusion for them. So let's go ahead and clarify that eight of cups. Meaning that they, you know, if you keep giving into them physically, they're not going to leave. All right. If you are in a relationship with this person, they feel that even though you provide this love and it's great and this and that and the other, it's just not enough. And so they want to travel. They want to do other things. They become guarded with their heart. They uh, lack communication with you. If it's about them leaving somebody else, they think about it quickly, but then they think about how it would hurt that other person. And then they're not sure what they want to do. And so they just need a break from all of it. I need a break. I'm going to just, you know, walk away from Aquarius right now because I don't want to, I don't want to hurt the person I'm with in a relationship. I don't want to hurt Aquarius, but I just need to think about things. And that is where they're just procrastinating, procrastinating on leaving a situation they told you they would, um, 
And then those of you in this relationship with them, where you are the one with them, they want to travel, they want to go places, you know, it's, their heart becomes closed off. They look at like you did this and that and the other and things weren't good at some point. And so uh, we have this lack of communication with between one another. And they feel like because you won't talk to them or you won't open up and talk to them in some way, that makes them feel hurt. Like they have a lot to say. Why won't you talk to me, Aquarius? I'm telling you all this and I'm putting my feelings and my heart out there. Why won't you do the same? Um, let's go ahead and clarify this three of wands. You just handled things differently. So, yeah, see, they're just, they're, they're filling you with false hope. Those of you that are waiting for this person to leave someone else, you know, they just end up waiting. They're turning their back on leaving this person because they start to think about, you know what, I'm not going to do that. It's too difficult. The two of swords is here. The ace of swords. Now they told you one thing, but then they end up blocking you or they end up, you know, like, I can't talk to Aquarius. I just, I can't. Um, and this is a pattern of theirs. This is a karmic pattern of theirs. And it feels like they have cheated before. They're telling you they're not happy in a relationship that they're in, but yet they're not, you know, like they're, they're with somebody else. They're cheating. It's not acceptable. So, and then, if, like I said, if you are in a relationship with this person, they're waiting for the right time. They'll tell themselves certain things like, I'm just going to wait. I, I want to leave. I don't want to be in this. So they emotionally disconnect, um, feeling that, you know, I'm just wait for something better to come along. Then they start to think that, you know what, it's too difficult to do that. So I'm just going to stay. It's, it's a pattern. So let's go ahead and get some messages from this person. And they're manifesting like leaving from feeling hurt, whether it's with you or another person, um, just depends on your situation, but then they talk themselves out of it. Okay. First thing that comes out is I am becoming a better person. However, it came out in reverse. So very stubborn. They stay the same way that they are always going to be um, because they don't want to change, you know, not becoming a better person. They don't think that they're becoming a better person. They feel like they're getting their way. So I can't stop thinking about you, you know, whether it is this comes out as, you know, you being the other person. And you're hopeful that they're going to like, oh, they told me they're in separation of, of whoever they're in a relationship with and they don't even love them anymore. That's another thing. Think about it. If they talk about the person they're in a relationship with in this way, how will they talk about you if you gave them what they wanted and you were in a relationship with them? There's just too many red flags there and you deserve so much better. You know, don't lose at this chess game. Come on. So I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. And that comes out as like, you know, just, you know, the timing wasn't right. It's not about timing. This is just a karmic pattern of theirs. This is what they do. Um, saying they're unhappy in one relationship, wanting to be in another relationship, but not leaving it and waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, and they're like, you know, you were such an experience for me and it taught me so much and I'll never forget you. I'll always remember you. That's how that comes out. For those of you in a relationship with this person, they're not changing, okay? Things are still take, staying pretty unhealthy in the relationship between the two of you. Um, yes, they constantly think about you. And they're like, you know, I'm great. I, the way that they're thinking is, should I leave? Should I go? I do love them, but I need to go. I want to stay, not today. Maybe tomorrow. You know, they go back and forth and back and forth. Um, you came closer than anyone. Maybe getting them to commit to settle down or getting them to leave a situation where they tell you they are unhappy. And so I just see that if you are the other person, Aquarius, they are not leaving this relationship and you should not engage with somebody who's in a relationship with somebody else. Um, have someone that you can trust from the beginning, someone that you're not going to later on think about like, okay, is this person going to cheat on me? Cause they did do that in the past with this other relationship, you know, um, you deserve to have somebody's full attention and it not come from a, an unhealthy, um, trauma bonding attachment because that's what it feels like. So I wonder if you are happy without me. 
for some of you, if this person ends up leaving or they're just like being quiet and not telling you anything and you two live and this is if you're in a relationship with this person, you two live together and it's quiet. They're, they're curious, like, are you going to be happy without me? Are you happy? We don't talk. Nothing. I'm going to stay, but I really want to go. And we're so emotionally disconnected and the, you know, you're a great person, but it's just not what I want anymore. And I want to explore. I want to see what's out there. But then they, they end up staying. It's like they're, they're confused on what they want to do. And if you're not in that kind of relationship with them where you live together and they are with somebody else, they wonder if you're going to be happy without them or when they block you, you know, I wonder, I wonder if Aquarius is happy without me being around them. You know, I think about them all the time. I can't stop thinking about them. That's going to be on them because they should have, um, engaged with you as a single person not somebody who is in a relationship, whether it's good or bad, doesn't matter. Okay. So this is what I have for you. You deserve so much better. Don't, you know, don't lose at that chess game. Okay. You need to check me and walk. <laughs> and if this is a situation where it feels like you two are too Together, living together that's difficult to do um, but they go back and forth if you called them out on these things like I know you want to leave or whatever they're going to be shocked like oh, how'd you know <laughs> so um, this is what I have for you Aquarius if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button I will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye